Frankenstein is get married soon. Frankenstein met someone special. We found love online after many bad dates with terrible women I not connect with. Frankenstein refused to quit. Him stay with it until him find true love. Before you meet my beautiful bride, I show you some of the god-awful shrews I take out before. But first, this all start when Frankenstein sign up to an online dating site. I start looking for available women and it looks promising. At first, ladies are talking to me and I start making friends. Soon, I asking for dates. That when trouble start. This Sabrina, she was first woman Frankenstein meet online. We go for walk in the park. I ask her what she want for lunch and she point to a little girl. She want to eat little girl for lunch. I tell her no and she get mad. I don't know why you were so surprised. It says in my profile, I eat children. Frankenstein thought that was metaphor. Why would I make a metaphor out of the question, what's your favorite food? To be funny. You're an idiot. It would never have worked out with us anyway. I can't be with a man who talks like Cookie Monster. You a bitch. Go away. Best of luck in your marital purgatory. She awful. So is next woman. This Annabelle. Say hi, Annabelle. I can't stand the bugs. They're all over me, crawling across my flesh, listening to everything I say, working their will over mine, robbing me of my life force. Heard enough? I think point is made. This woman nuttier than a bag of trail mix. Go away, crazy lady. I can feel my blood flowing within me. I need air. I'm suffocating. Good lord. Anyway, next lady, this Sarah. Hello? Tell them why it not work between us, Sarah. We made a date to meet at the restaurant at precisely 7 o'clock and you arrived at 7.03. Got that. Frankenstein was three minutes late and she walk out. If I can't trust you at your word then there's nothing on which to build a relationship. Christ almighty, it was three minutes. Three minutes or three hours, there's no difference. Not to someone as uptight as you. I'm not uptight, I'm chronologically fastidious. Yeah, like that normal. If you were wound any tighter, your spring would snap. Whatever you say, Cookie Monster. This next lady went with me to a movie armed with a gun and a canister of mace and a truncheon in her purse. This Jennifer. I didn't know you. A girl has to be cautious. You came to our date armed for a rumble. Surely, you can understand why I found that off-putting. I think a real man understands a woman's need to feel safe. Frankenstein need to feel safe too. You were packing everything short of a pitchfork and a torch. Whatever you say, Cookie Monster. Again with Cookie Monster? What is Cookie Monster? This next lady scare Frankenstein more than any of the others. This Vicky with two Qs. Hello again, wimp. So you think you tough? No, ma'am, I'm no match for you. I break any man over my knee thinks he can tell me what to do. I tell them and they better listen or there be hell to pay. Yes, ma'am, I wouldn't dream of challenging your authority. May I go, please? You may. Thank you, my lady. That woman is terrifying. This last lady had some good points. She was caring and attentive, but in the end, Frankenstein could not handle how hyper she was. This Garrett. Hi, Frankie. Oh my god. Did you hear what I just said? I said, Frankie, but your name is Frankenstein. I just made that up. It was a joke. I'm so funny. Did you know I'm a witch? I can cast a spell. Better be careful or I'll cast a spell on you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a good witch. I only cast good spells like spells that relieve back pain and make you feel better about yourself. I would never want to be that witch that hurts anyone in any way. Even if they kill my dog, I'll still wish them a better day than I've had. Is that stupid? My brother thinks so. I'd never want to be the kind of witch that causes anyone pain. Even if someone killed my dog, I'd still buy them a coffee and help them get in touch with their feelings. That's just me. I care. I'm a caregiver. My brother says I take it too far, but I have to be me. I'd rather care too much than too little. My heart guides me. My heart and the stars and the moon. Oh God. I love the moon. I love it so much. I wish I could live on the moon. I'm a genius. I should work for NASA. Have you seen my telescope? It's totally cool. I can see into the hearts of stars with it. Shut up, please. 
I'd rather care too much than too little. My heart guides me, my heart and the stars and the moon. Oh God, I love the moon. I love it so much. Oh my God, I'm repeating myself. I'm such a cuckoo bird. Is there anything I can get for you? Do you need a water or a drink? I used to be a bartender. So I regret having to do that, but as you saw for yourself, there's no off switch. This chick never shuts up. That's how it go for months, just one debacle after another. So after that parade of freaks and weirdos, I finally found a friend online that gets me. Someone I can relax and be myself with. Someone I don't have to pretend with and with whom I feel totally comfortable. Everyone, this is Icarus. Hello. Surprised. So was I, but when it's right, it's right. If I had to sum up my online dating experience, I'd have to call it a shitstorm. It was one wrong person after another, and I was about ready to give up when, by chance, I met Icarus, and nothing would ever be the same again. I think my experience demonstrates that meeting someone online is 10% effort and 90% luck, so... I guess my advice would be to keep going sooner or later. You just might get lucky. Take me out for a nice dinner and you just might get lucky yourself. Mm.